Hi, good morning. Um, I was thinking, I was playing with my pages, and you know I made all these little things, they've been on my blog, um, ad nauseum, to be honest. Probably sick of seeing them. Um, so I was making all these little things, and not the gingham, but the ribbon and the liberty. Now, that's the gingham, that's my nod to the gingham, okay? Um, but the ribbon and the liberty they've all evolved and they come from some work i did in my last class and it just occurred to me that i'm making these little books and i love 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 making them but i equally loved the work i did in my last class and would like to take that further so i've stolen some of these from the little book box and i've started something else now What's it going to be? I've no idea. It doesn't matter to me what it's going to be. The pleasure's in the making. Um, I don't care if it doesn't become anything. If it just goes in a cloth book, that's fine by me. So, but this is the work from the last class. And if you see, if you look at this, okay, you can see the Liberty. Um, no ribbon on this one. Maybe this is the best one to get. And this one, okay. So in these areas that I've drawn out and marked out there's there's actually no ribbon but the ribbon is in the other sheets let me have a look I've got more sheets here um, oh. let me just get this out well the ribbon is on this bit for a start that was an overlay that I made for one of the pages I don't want to delve too deeply in my box because I uh, I might spoil something. Just let me just have a flick and see if I can see something that justifies the ribbon. Sorry about this. Right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to drop this so it'll bang. Right. So, ribbon. Little strips of ribbon sticking out. So, all the ribbon, and you can see here as well. Ribbon, stitched down ribbon with Liberty fabric and papers that are stitched down that mimic Liberty fabric. So, but this one, this is where I started with my stitch piece. So I started the stitch piece based on all this work. And like I say, what it will become, I have no idea, but I don't care. So here it is. Okay, it's on silk. Okay. So I've taken, as you can probably see, this idea and I'm working with that and I'm not going to replicate that <laughs> the thing here as well is there's lots of pin pricking in here and French knots giving it texture so what I'm thinking here is French knots in the background but I'm unsure I'm unsure about that at the moment so what I've started to do I've marked it on the back and I've got my straight lines and I've done chain stitch and now I'm doing bullion loops on top of those and I thought that today I could maybe just do a few French knots in here with you, see how that looks and how I feel about that. And if I don't like it, I can just unpick them. It doesn't matter. So I've already got my needle threaded. I need to continue that and finish that. And I need to chain stitch and bullion knot down there. But I'm anxious and impatient. And I want to know if the French knots are going to work. And um, they're going to have to be quite close together as well. Um, I don't like, I don't know, plonked. I don't like plonked without anything blended, if that makes sense. And the other thing, you can see it's a bit, but it'll be damp stretched and it'll come out perfectly. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, so, and also any hoop marks come out when it's damp stretched as well. So if I just do a couple of French knots, just to see, if I start over here, I mean, it's quite a big area, to be fair, to be filling with French knots. Um, so, I mean, I thought I could use thicker thread and a fatter needle, but then that won't be as delicate as I want it. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Now I think they're too far apart, so if I do another one, and also in that sheet there's a lot of colour in the stitching, in the French knots, 
but I'm not sure that's what I want here. Um, so I'll do the white. It'll take me, well, I can't think how long it'll take me. It'll take me a long time. Um, but then maybe if I get brave, I can try dotting a bit of colour about amongst a few coloured French knots. So as you can see, that is like I've done those, there's six there, but so but on here I guess the colour isn't actually in the, the white space that's been pinpricked, it's on the fabric pieces. Um so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is just do it. I mean, it won't be a hassle, it won't be a hassle for me at all. It's really therapeutic actually, just mindlessly stitching French knots. I could tell that that had gone in a knot there when I was pulling it through and I bet you I can't get it out. No, I'm just going to have to leave it. Um, just a little knot, it's not going to do any harm. probably unpick it when I finish this video and take that out so there so that's I mean <coughs> you can see it's gonna be a, a, a long running task but I'm already really like this and I like the fact that these are white fabric with ribbon on top white fabric with Liberty on top and they've got kind of a padded look a raised look so I really like how they responded to being attached to this silk um, so I'll keep you updated on that, I'll keep you posted on how I get on with this. Don't hold your breath waiting for them to be done, because I think it'll take me a couple of evenings stitching to fill this whole thing with French knots. Um, and what I'll probably do first, so this whole thing here, I still can't see it all can you? There, there to there. Uh, what I'll probably do first is finish that and do this and then because I won't know how it's going to look with the density of the French knots until the outer edges are done and um, because they're going to affect how the middle appears if that makes sense okay 